welcome back to my channel it's your girl cc sorry for the crazy hair today but it's your girl cc thank you guys for coming back today and if you are new i see you don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below hit the thumbs up and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be one of the first people to see my videos every week when i blow them up so today i wanted to come and talk to you guys about oils I hear so many different things about oils. Is it a moisturizing oil? Is it good for sealing your hair kind of oils? And there's just so many things. Can it do both? Can it not do both? Is it good for dry hair? Is it good for growing hair? Like there's so much information out there. So I kind of wanted to give you guys what I've researched and what I found that has worked well for my hair. So just to give you a little history on my hair, I am a 4C. <clears throat> if you go by hair types, I am 4C, but I also have low porosity hair. And a quick definition of just low porosity hair is just hair that has a very hard time getting moisture into your hair. So with me, because of my hair, I have a very hard time getting moisture into it and keeping it, and keeping it in my hair. So that's low porosity. It, um... You can do a test of just taking a clean strand of your hair, clean, dry strand of your hair with no products in it, and dipping it and um, have a glass of water and putting it in water and see how long it takes to sink to the bottom or get wet. Uh, another test I've done is just literally just wetting my hair and just seeing how long it takes for my hair to actually get wet. And that literally tells me that my hair has a very hard time getting wet or getting moisture or anything into my hair shaft so that just a quick that was just a quick definition so if so a quick definition of moisturizing oils so these types of oils can penetrate your hair shafts and should be able to penetrate your hair shaft so you can get the moisture into your hair um, they are great for oiling your scalp so you want to have a healthy scalp because a healthy scalp is the start of having healthy hair. And also, these types of oils are best used for either when your hair is wet, so using with water, or you can use these with a water-based leave-in conditioner. And the types of oils that do these are coconut oil, olive oil, and avocado oil. So I have a bottle of olive oil um coconut oil and avocado oil so these are probably the three best known um oils that are well like that are good moisturizing oils for your dry hair so so with sealing oil sealing oils are good for sealing your hair so if you are low porosity just an example, because I am exhibit A, I am low porosity hair, obviously, like I've said again. And so with my hair, I, like I've said, have a hard time getting moisture into my hair. So it's very important for me to be able to seal my hair after I have moisturized it and done all of my things to get my hair to be moist and soft and and healthy is very important for me to seal my hair and by that meaning sealing your hair shafts because your hair shafts your hair shafts are open um and just to give a quick i guess uh visual is so your hair is like this like it's a strand of hair and you have hair shafts that open up to allow moisture and you know products and water to get into your hair so that's how your hair is gets wet and things like that um so what is very important for low porosity hair people is for you to remember to seal your hair so to close those hair shafts after you're done because obviously if you don't close them then all the moisture and all the things that you have done to take care of your hair leaves out of your hair and that is how your hair is either dry it becomes dry um more prone to breakage more prone to um, split ends and things like that so with sealing oils again i have my notes down here um it locks and seals the moisture into your hair um it does not penetrate your hair shafts so it should just sit on top of your hair so these kind of oils should not be penetrating your hair shafts because you want them to seal your hair so that's how they sit on the top of your hair and it give you like this shine this luster kind of look into your hair um 
And these types of oils are most useful for like when you're doing a twist out or a braid or anything like that so you can seal your ends. So these types of oils do help with split ends and prone to um and like you know help with breakage and things like that if you are doing it correctly. So these types of oils are Jamaican castor black um Jamaican black castor oil, sorry. Um, grape seed oil and habobo oil. I think I'm saying that name right, habobo oil. Um, so those are the three common ones to use. And I have a jar of black of Jamaican black castor oil. Um, I don't have grape seed or habobo oil because I don't really use these. I mostly stick with castor oil just because I love it and it's awesome. So we're going to dive more into the different types of oils and what these oils are known for and what they're good for. So just stay with me. All right. Uh, with moisturizing oils, moisturizing oils, you want to make sure that you are using oils that are penetrating your hair shafts because if they're not penetrating your hair shafts, they're not moisturizing your hair. Um, so that is the number one thing with moisturizing oils is that you want to make sure that these oils are getting into your hair shafts and that are able to moisturize your hair and give your hair that nutrients that it needs. So with olive oil, olive oil is very known for being able to moisturize your hair and your scalp, which is very important. Uh, olive oil is also known for getting a good blood flow going into your head, which is also great for promoting hair growth and thicker strands. So those are two key things that olive oil does do. It's just getting that blood flow and going to your head. So it's going to promote your hair growing faster, um, thicker hair strands, which, hey, you can't really be mad at it. A lot of people do want thicker hair and again it also just promotes your hair just growing and growing and growing and growing so that is one thing also with olive oil is that if you wanted to take it that step further with making sure that you are doing everything possible to moisturize your hair and getting your hair into a healthier state is that you can put this in deep conditioners um, because it's just taking it that extra step further, especially if you are sitting under the dry with your deep conditioner, which allows your shafts to open up and allows that nutrients and moisture and everything to get into your hair shafts. So that is a key thing that you can take away and try to do that at home to see if that helps and also because olive oil is just very inexpensive like you can find this anywhere and you shouldn't have any problems with finding anywhere and like I said it's fairly cheap I think this bottle was like three dollars and I still have about maybe a half left so it's very inexpensive which is also because who doesn't like shopping on a budget or buying stuff on a budget because I do so yes, uh, okay, okay guys, so the next one is coconut oil. I love coconut oil, I heart coconut oil, so I'm very biased with this one, but with coconut oil, it is very versatile because it can go into a solid state, which you see here in the jar, but it also, when you warm it up between your hands, it melts, so it can go into a liquid state. So I find that coconut oil is fairly more easier to use for me because I can literally just scoop it out the jar, rub between my hands and put it in my hair versus having to put it in a bottle and squirt it into my hair and it getting everywhere. I can control for the most part of like how much I use and things like that. So with coconut oil, coconut oil is very versatile because of that. So you can use it for cooking, you can use it for baking, you can use it for your skin, you can use it for your hair, um, you can even use it for your nails. Like you can use it for any beauty thing you plan to do, whether it's your hair, whether it's deodorant, whether you know, you can use it for anything. So I find that coconut oil is very just versatile that way which is awesome so with coconut oil it helps with breakage which i i experience a lot i'm pretty sure you guys out there as well experience breakage with um with your hair so coconut oil does help with breakage coconut oil is great for moisturizing your hair um which again is key and they say that the best time to use coconut oil is in the presence of water or like a water-based and leave-in a water-based leave-in conditioner. So those they say are the best times to use coconut oil. I personally use coconut oil again when my hair is wet. 
so that's in the presence of water so after i'm done washing my hair my hair is more easy to work with when my hair is e when my hair is wet so i use it when my hair is wet if i'm getting out of the shower or if i've just done like a deep conditioner and i just want to put a little bit more in my hair to make sure my hair is getting moisture um one of the key things to remember with coconut oil is because the molecule structure with coconut oil is different, you is limited. So I'm going to explain a little bit. So to it does penetrate your hair shafts, but the molecule structure of coconut oil, it will limit how much it's able to get into your hair shafts. So you want to make sure that you are not putting too much in your hair because then otherwise it will just sit on top of your hair. Um, so you just want to make sure you're not using too much with coconut oil. Coconut oil can be used as a moisture oil or sealing oil. So you just want to make sure you're not using too much. So you may want to make sure you're mixing it with another moisturizing oil. So that way it's a little more diluted down with other oils, which we will get more into that as well. So that is one key thing that you want to make sure with coconut oil. So with avocado oil the next one is avocado oil so avocado oil is great for promoting a healthy scalp it's also great for preventing breakage in your hair and also great for obviously penetrating your hair shafts because it's a moisturizing oil um you want to remember with avocado oil is that it has a lot of essential vitamins and nutrients in your hair it is a healthy fat because obviously we know that avocados in itself um, are a healthy fat fruit so with avocado oil it has healthy fats and nutrients and things like that it will promote healthier and faster hair growth if you are using it on a regular basis so you can't just use this once and think and that's with any products you can't just use them once and think that okay my hair is going to grow overnight you have to consistently keep using it and let your hair get used to it and you'll see the results everything does not happen overnight so i just want to put that out there but they do say that this does promote healthier and faster hair growth if used on a regular basis so that is avocado oil so sealing oil sealing oils are again the oils that are going to lock in that moisture into your hair and seal your hair shaft so that nothing can get in and nothing can get out so all that prep work that you did with moisturizing your hair shampooing your hair doing the deep conditioner in your hair and you're always wondering why your hair is left feeling dry it is most likely due to the fact that Either A, you're using the wrong oils or you're not using any oils at all or that your hair shafts are still open. So the moisture and everything that you have done, all that work, all that work that you have done with your hair, you are now allowing all of that to leave your hair. So you're not locking in all that moisture and all that work that you have tirelessly that you have put into your hair. So. With sealing oils, sealing oils help you lock in that extra moisture that, you know, all that work that you have done, it locks that in. So that's the key thing with sealing oils. You want to remember that you want an oil that is going to close your hair shafts, that's going to lock it and seal it so that way nothing gets in and nothing leaves. So, key thing. So, Jamaican black castor oil is another oil that you can use for sealing oil, or is one of the sealing oils that you can use. Um, it promotes healthy hair. It promotes um, soft hair. Um, one of the things that I did not know about black castor oil is that it draws out the impurities and toxins in your hair. Cool, right? I know I did not know that I've been using Jamaican black castor oil for about three to four years now did not know that so you know as you always research you find new things all the time um, another thing that it does is that it prevents breakage and it also helps with split ends so this is a thick product so it is very great for people that have thick texture hair because it just seals your hair better and it helps you grip your hair better so I will say definitely try them out for sealing oil if you have it. Um, I've been using them so far for sealing my hair and it's been working pretty well for me for the most part. Not for the most part. It's been working pretty well for me. So I will say one of the things that I do like about this is that you can, if you're not crazy about the smell with Jamaican black castor oil, they do have like scented ones. Um, 
and again we can go into more of this later on in the video but they do have scented ones as well so and you can find this anywhere like you can find it at hair store drug stores you can find it at grocery stores you can pretty much find this anywhere so i just do the regular jamaican castor oil with nothing in it so that's me but gray seed oil you can find in hair stores it's fairly cheap like you can find it anywhere so with grape seed oil it's great for people that have thin or fine hair so that you don't want to have your hair being greasy or like that heavy look obviously um so if you had thin or you know fine hair you probably don't want to use jamaican black castor oil because it's a very thick product that product is more for people that have thicker hair um so if you have thin hair or fine hair you probably want to use more of the lighter oils for your hair to seal it um it's also great for standing high heat so if you're the type of person that likes to press your hair a lot or dry your hair a lot you might want to try looking into those and see if that's something that can at least protect your hair from any kind of heat damage and things like that um so again, those are the kind that oil is good for people with thinner and fine hair and maybe also people that likes to, again, press their hair, blow dry their hair to protect your hair from the heat damage. So that's grapeseed oil. So the next one is jabobo oil. And again, I don't have that product with me as well because I don't really carry jabobo oil in my house, but I wanted to give you guys that information. So jabobo oil, I hope I'm saying that right. Jabobo oil um, is a bit on the pricier side and that's probably why I don't have it because girlfriends, I like to shop on a budget and if it's not in my budget, I'm not spending it. So with jabobo oil is a little bit on the pricier side, but if you want to make that investment, um, I'm going to put some links below where you can find it. I'm pretty sure you can find it in hair stores. Um, you can probably find it like in a Target or a Walmart, anything like that. Um, so you can probably most likely find it anywhere because I have seen them in hair stores and things like that. Um, with jabobo oil, it is a light oil too as well for sealing your hair and adding that moisture for your hair so again that kind of oil is probably good for people that have thinner finer hair if you have thick hair i would say try it as well i just know with people that have finer hair you don't want your hair to feel heavy or greasy all the time so that hair is probably good for you as well also with um it's good for people that suffer from hair like from um flakiness and like dandruff and things like that and one of the good, cool things about jabobo oil is that it restores your proper ph in your hair so that is one fun fact about jabobo oil that i did not know is that it does restore the ph in your hair so not only is it sealing your hair but it's also working to restore your hair as well so that's something cool as well so these are so guys i'm also going to tell you about some oils that i add along with my hair routine along with my oils just so that you guys are aware that you can also add oils along with that and you know to make it smell good or just to add that extra boost because not only do these oils promote faster and thicker hair strands but they just also like promote a healthier scalp as well so i use rosemary oil because it promotes healthier hair it promotes thicker hair strands which I'm not going to sit here and say no to thicker hair strands because I love my thick hair um peppermint oil promotes faster hair growth and it also gives you that tingly cool sensation that I like which also like just promotes um or not promotes but it increases circulations in your hair which is going to give you that faster hair growth that you're wanting to see and lavender oil promotes faster hair growth, and thicker hair strands as well. And then I have tree, tea tree oil. So tea tree oil, you want to make sure that you are diluting this with another oil. You don't want to use this by itself. It has a strong smell. It's very... It's very strong. So you want to definitely make sure you're using this with, with another oil. But then you also want to make sure you're not using too much. I say I use about maybe two drops is what I use and that's enough for me. Um, with all the other oils, I use probably about maybe 10 drops of these, um, give or take, depending on everything. But going back to tree tea oil, so tree tea oil increases your hair growth and it also helps to unplug your hair follicles in your head. 
um, which will allow moisture and nutrients and things like that to get into your hair. So very good for hair growth and things like that. Hey guys, so that is it for me today. So with this, I want to tell you guys just a key thing is that there's a lot of information out there when it comes to oils for your hair. I will say the best thing that you can do is research. Even if you like this video, which I hope you do, I still want you guys to do the research on your own because everyone's experience is different. Everyone's hair is different. So what may work for my hair when it comes to oils may not work for your hair. Because I am 4C, if you want to go by hair types, and because I'm low porosity, my hair is going to work differently from yours if you are a different hair type or if you are a different, if you are low porosity, high porosity, medium porosity, or in the middle, or if you have both. So, and even if you have low porosity hair like me, your hair is still going to work different from mine. So I really, really want you guys to do the research and not just rely on this video to give you guys the information. I'm here to help and I want you guys to have an awesome hair journey and have hair growth and have that big fro or whatever your hair goal is. I want to help you guys reach that. But I also want you guys to do the research as well because there's just so much information out there. There's this misconception is that oils are only good for sealing your hair, which is far from the truth. Oils can do both. Oils can moisturize and seal your hair. You just have to know which one you are using. And it also helps to know what your hair type is, whether if you are low porosity or if you're high porosity or if you're in the middle or if you have both. So you really want to research what your hair type is because I think that would be key for you to know which oils to use because you could be using the wrong oils for your hair or you could be using the right oils for your hair but technically you thought you were high porosity but you're actually low porosity so these are just key things for you to research on your own so that way you will know if you guys have any questions feel free to comment below and ask me i will try to do my best to answer them and if i don't know the questions you know the answers to your questions i will definitely Point you into point you in the direction to who I think may have the answer on YouTube or you know um, read some articles and show you guys those articles as well so I'm here to help in any way that I can so again guys thank you guys for watching if you have not yet and if you stayed this long definitely definitely hit the subscribe button hit the like and hit the thumbs up that would be awesome so guys thank you guys for staying this long um, yeah, thank you for taking your time out today to watch me, and I will see you guys next week. As always, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy this hair journey, and I will see you guys next time. All right? Bye.